1997, and again in 1998, tenor Bob Baffert took two big shots at the elusive crowd. First, it was Bob and Beverly Lewis's Silver Charm, who, after giving Baffert his first Kentucky Derby win, held off Freehouse on the inside to Captain Bodgett outside to win the Preakness by a head. But at the end of the mile and a half Belmont, it was touch gold who ended Silver Charm's triple crown bid by three quarters of a length. In 1998, Baffert was back again, this time with his close friend Mike Pegram and a $17,000 bargain colt named Real Quiet. His 9 to 1 long shot victory in the run for the Roses had most experts dismissing him as a derby fluke. But two weeks later, he was even more impressive, winning the Preakness by two and a quarter lengths. And in the test of the champion, the Belmont Stakes, it appeared real quiet would pass that test, widening his lead to five lengths in the stretch. But as the finish line drew closer, so did his main rival, number one, Victory Gallup, flying on the outside. As they hit the wire together, the photo sign went up. The race, too close to call. Finally, the race was official. Number 11, Victory Gallup, the winner. Real Quiet had been denied the Triple Crown and the $5 million visa bonus by the narrowest of racing margins, a nose.